Lost Whiskey Club and Lost Whiskey Bourbon is a way to unwind, disconnect, put away your devices, your phones, your computers. The club here is to come up on the mountain and grab a bottle of our whiskey and share it, usually around a fire, around a big uh, table with a meal, just a way to kind of reconnect. We call it the Lost Art of Conversation. We think the whiskey's pretty good too, but it's more about what you do with the whiskey than the actual whiskey itself. My name is Mark Turner. I'm the owner of Greenspur. We're a design build firm. And a couple of years ago, we decided to start a whiskey company to combine our love of architecture with nature and space and gathering. Lost Whiskey Lodge is located in Delaplane, Virginia. It's a very unique place in Virginia because it's surrounded by conserved conservation easement farmland. So this is considered horse and hunt country. This is the Hamptons of Virginia. There's a hauler coming up here called Whiskey Hauler, and we looked down onto Lost Mountain, which was a property that George Washington purchased, and he was gonna retire there. So of all the land he could have picked in Virginia, he picked this location. It's a combination of the mountain we look down onto on the Whiskey Hollow, so Lost Whiskey Club is meant to embody that story. My name's Zach Gasper, and I'm an architect for Greenspur and the Lost Whiskey Project is our passion. The Lost Whiskey Lodge takes on the, the form of a traditional tobacco barn, and that's why we chose to uh, use black siding as well. Just traditionally tobacco barns would have a black creosote siding on the side, and that would help heat up the barn and help dry out the tobacco. In all of our design practice, we really try to imbibe a history. So we try to not mimic history, but tip our hat to it. Most of our architecture, we try to find old pictures, like a black and white picture of a barn or something, a silo or something we can key off of and then reinvent it. So it's clearly a new adaptation of something old. And then as we moved to the interiors, we just really wanted to keep raw, natural materials. A lot of the wood that we took from the site, we reused as finishes on the interior. We also use exposed concrete for the flooring, a lot of steel and a lot of wood and, and brass. Our firm uses propane on a lot of its projects, especially the ones that are rural, because you can bury the tanks and produce energy for hot water, heat, cooking, pool heat at a much more efficient rate than you can either using the grid or other alternative means. Simplicity is the number one trending thing in the world right now. We, we subconsciously need it, we overtly need it. And so the ability to come up here with a bunch of people and see them, see that trigger go off in their head and they're smiling and there's long conversations and the phones are put away and there's great views and there's lots of food and there's you know conversations that last through the night. You, you can't put a price tag on that. Mm -hmm.